prosecutor Kamala Harris should do her job and expose the financial conflicts of interest that Michael Peavy has with the industry which he's supposed to regulate. So we're also uh, going to go inside later and we're going to speak out at this commission meeting demanding that they, they be replaced and that we have an elected commission where people of California can choose. Michael Peavy has a known conflict of interest, financial conflict of interest. He's collaborated and colluded with the PG&E and Southern California Edison against the people of California. Yeah. He's covered up deaths and injuries, explosions in San Bruno, uh, health and safety problems at the nuclear plants, Diablo Canyon and uh, San Onofre. And he wants the taxpayers of California, the ratepayers, to pay for these utilities disasters. These executives who are running the utilities in California belong in jail. The time for Governor Brown to act is now. Why is the governor refusing to fire PV? We're here today to, as Steve said, demand an end to PV on this commission. It's time for him to go golfing. He is no longer responsible for the health and safety of the people of California. The smart meter and the smart grid has been a disaster for human health and safety. Under a judge's order, PG&E admitted that more than 190,000 pulses of radiation come out of these meters every day. This is radiation that the World Health Organization says is a class 2B human carcinogen. There have been hundreds, if not thousands, of house fires and structure fires. We need to put safety first, and it's not going to come from Jerry Brown. It's not going to come from this California Public Utilities Commission. If we're going to have changes, it's going to have to come from the bottom going to have to come from the public. It's our responsibility to demand changes and to demand that PV be removed from office. There's a serious likelihood that PV could be reappointed for another six-year term, and uh, this would be an absolute disaster for the health and safety of California. But one of the reasons that we don't have solar power, we still have a nuclear plant operating, is that these, public, these privately owned utilities make profit. Uh, at these utilities, and they make the people of California pay for more nuclear power. We're saying shut down Diablo Canyon. We're saying keep uh, the uh, San Onofre plant safe, even when it's closed, it's still a danger. So one of the, the problems that we have here is there's a long history of collusion between PG&E, Southern California Edison, and uh, the Public Utility Co uh, Commission, including Michael Peavy. And Dan Berman is a former uh, employee of the California Public Utility Commission. He's the author of a book called, Who Owns the Sun? That's a good question. Who owns the sun? Well, if it's up to PG&E, they would own the sun. So welcome, Dan Berman. What I'd like to do is give you a little, uh, a, a, a sort of a, a short idea of where Mike Peavy comes from. For a short time, he was the research director of the California Labor Federation, 69, 70, 71. Then he went on to found something called California Council for Environmental and Economic Balance. And what they were trying to do was to site nuclear power plants up and down the coast. And uh, they ran into some uh, thousands of people who were resisting. They took over Diablo Canyon several times. Three, 6,000 people were arrested. This is all forgotten. You're not taught, your kids are not taught about it in their school books. Uh, so uh, Ralph Nader and, and uh, a guy named Richard Grossman and some other people came up with a uh, Prop 15, which ran in June 1976. And uh, what it would do is ban the, the siting of any new nuclear power plants unless you could figure out what to do with the waste. And uh, Mike Peavy at SEAB was, was the chief opponent. Prop 15 lost by 51 to 49 percent. But it was so popular that everyone knew they would never site another new nuclear power plant in California. And they never did. They're shameless. They don't care. What we need is, we need a nationalized uh, control of industry, of the, uh, the energy industry, under and no compensation. PG&E has made billions and billions of dollars of the public in this state. No compensation and under workers' control. That's the only way forward. Thank you. We're saying we need public power. We're saying shut down all nuclear plants in California, around the country, and also keep the nuclear plants in Japan shut down. Now, one, one thing I want to make uh, clear, I know all of you have seen these ads. PG&E is spending millions of dollars of ads on how wonderful the workers are. 
You know, like like we know that the workers are wonderful. It's not the problem that BG is not the workers. The problem is a corrupt criminal management and executives who are telling workers to lie about the health and safety. That's the problem. Nuclear whistleblowers at, at uh, San Onofre at Diablo Canyon have been fired for speaking out about the health and safety. How safe do we know that these plants are when people are afraid to speak out about the health and safety? That's the problem with these privately owned utilities. That's why we're seeing criminally prosecute the pg e executives, put them in prison. Criminally prosecute Michael Peavy, put him in prison. Let's clean up the Public Utility Commission, have an elected commission to represent the people and the workers of California. <laughs>